and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a summer makeup tutorial for you guys, something simple. I recently did a giveaway on my Instagram with this Natural Nature's NYX palette and I purchased it myself because I wanted to test it out. So there's six colors in the palette. I'm going to swatch them for you. The first one is really pretty. It's like a um, it looks chalky for like the swatch, but I did this video yesterday and I didn't save it to my car, um, to my computer, so it erased. Hold well on, the bay is going. So the first one is like a little chalky, like I said, when you swatch it, but on your eye, I don't see anything bad. And then the second color is like this, like light golden yellow color. And these are both, of, oh, this little paper there. These are both of the swatches right there. Hopefully you guys can see it. I forgot that I'm zoomed in, so I don't really have to go all the way over there. And then my third color is, I mean the third color from the palette is like this really nice peachy transition color. It doesn't, none of these look pigmented on swatches, but I promise you they're really nice. I filmed this yesterday and I really liked it. So, these are all the swatches from the palette. I hope my lights can let you guys see it. So guys, I got a new camera and lights. Look at me now. Okay, anyways, let me clean this. Okay, I did not clean that to perfection, but it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go in with, so I've been testing out, like you guys know, a lot of foundations, but this L'Oreal True Match is just, it's my true match. And I love it. Brielle? Sorry if you guys hear Brielle. She's in the other room with JD, who is her uncle. And yeah. So, sorry if you hear her throughout this whole video. So I'm gonna put my L'Oreal True Match in warm beige um, throughout my face with my Beauty Blender. Sorry, my beauty blender is a little dirty. Don't judge me. And then I'm just gonna pounce it. I really need a new beauty blender because mine is like, you know, a little old. I need a new one. But I kind of want to test out um, like drugstore ones, like the L'Oreal one or the Real Techniques one for you guys, just to, you know, be more budget friendly. Because $20 for a dance sponge, that's expensive. I don't know about you guys, but that's expensive. So, but it does work, and I like it better than a brush. I like it a lot better than a brush. And I recently got a little bit of a tan, so you see my little tan lines. I didn't do it purposely, I just, I went to the lake. I went kayaking with my family this weekend. And I got a little bit of a tan, and I'm liking it. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. I mean, I had sunscreen. Protection 50, you know. But I imagine if I didn't have any protection. The sun is so strong, guys. It is so strong. Okay. And then once our face is foundationed out, I'm going to go in with my concealer. And the concealer, sorry, I keep on looking at the viewfinder just to make sure I'm filming and I'm in focus. So the concealer that I'm going to use when you have white nails, all your foundation goes on it. <laughs> Don't like it. Anyways, the concealer I'm going to use is a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Mine is in medium light, no, light medium, sorry. This is where it's at, guys. This is the best concealer. I love it so much. It's full coverage. It's just amazing. A uh, little goes a long way. So I just put two little dots because it is really, really full coverage. You can get cake base or under eye cake. <laughs> I like to do a little bit and then if I need any more, I'll just add more. It's better to be. It's better to put a little bit than a lot and then not be able to. Uh, like go back from there but if you put a little bit and you need more you can just add so that's what I do I'm just gonna add a little bit more I'm 
in my eyes too. Okay. So this is my favorite concealer. I love it so much. It's like, look at that. It's super pigmented. It's super pigmented. I love it so much. And then, like always, I use the opposite part. So I use the more pointy side of the beauty blender. I told you guys. Just wanting to clarify that again. And then I'm going to set my under eyes with this Makeup Revolution Luxurious Sorry, a concealer over these white nails. So I'm gonna use a Makeup Revolution Luxury um, Baking Powder in Banana. And I really like it. Um, it doesn't have flashback when you take pictures or anything like that, which is very important to me. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys out there, it is affordable. It's on the store side of Ulta. That's where I got it. So super good. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my cap. Put that over there, get a little brush, tap off the excess, and then just... And a new little trick that I've been doing, I've just been putting the, the baking powders, <laughs> this baking powder like this in an angle. So I really don't have to go in and like clean too much up from the eyeshadow when I'm doing my looks. Look at all that powder. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, anyways, went all over the place. Amateur hour. Okay, anyways, so for the palette, I'm gonna go in with the white color, the first one, and I'm gonna just go in with this BH Cosmetics Fluffy Brush. I'm a little itchy. Oof, I hate when that happens. Okay, I'm going to go in with the first color, the white color, and put that all in my lid. Okay, and then with the same brush, I'm going to go in with the third shadow in the palette and use that as my transition color. It has like a little peachy undertone in it. Sorry, it's super peachy. Okay. I'm going to use that as my transition for both sides. Then I'm going to go into um, the fourth color, which is this like nice champagne-y light color with my finger and just put it on my lid. Sorry, my camera automatically stopped recording, <laughs> so I don't know where it cut off, but I was using my Eco Tools pencil brush to do two outer um, two Vs in my outer corners, and then I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics fluffy brush and just blend that into my eye. Well, blend the look out to make it more smoky. And then I'm going to add a little bit more of that darker color, the last shade on the palette, just to intensify it a little bit more because when you blend it out, sometimes the color goes, like, gets a little washed out and we don't want that. It's see, I'm telling you, see how pigmented it is? I was in line, but when you swatch it, and then I'm gonna go in with the third color that I use for my transition and just put it a little bit above that to kind of blend it in for the two colors to seamlessly blend in together. And then that is out. And then I'm gonna do the other side. Blend it, blend it. Blend it, honey. Blend it to your fingers blood. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in a little bit more. And 
then I'm gonna go in with that fourth shade again, the, the one that I used with my fingers for the lid, and just intensify the lid again. Just because it kind of got washed out because of all the blending. Okay, and then with my fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with that lash it again and kind of blend the two colors together a little bit more. And then with the detailing brush, I'm going to go in with that same color that I put in my lid and use it in my inner corner. And then, then I'm going to use this uh, Real Techniques like little tiny fluffy brush and go in with the first shade that we went in with in the palette, the little white color, and then just use that as my brown bone, my brow bone highlight. Okay, and then we can take, and once we're done with that, we can go and take away the baggage. flat brush. I'm going to go in with this flat brush from e.l.f. Sorry, I have foundation on my white nails. Ah! Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the last shade in the outer corner on both sides. And then I'm going to go in with the third shade So I really smoked the lower lash line out. I really like it like that. I think this looked, looks pretty good. And um, Revlon was nice enough to send me two free products. Um, the first product is the Revlon Stay Color Stay um, Brow Pencil. One end comes with this spoolie. The spoolie is really good. It's like nice and separated and it gets in there. Uh, I really like it. The only um, con that I would say about these about this um the only con that I would say about this brow pencil is that the product itself is very very fragile so you have to use a very light hand because it will break off on you I um, filmed a video already but obviously it got deleted and it literally like came up on camera but it's a really good pencil the color like the product itself lasts a while on your eyebrows I had no problems with that it's really creamy it's easy to blend out um, it's true to the color that it says I got mine in soft brown I really like the color I haven't tried any other color range or anything like that because obviously that's the color of my eyebrows so I can't say if the black is true to its color or anything like that all I know is that the soft um, brown is and I really enjoy this product and thank you Revlon and the other product was um it's a two-in-one eyeliner I really liked it I can't find it for the life of me I've been looking for it all day to film this video and I cannot find it but as soon as I find it um, I will let you guys know what it looks like and how it works and how it looks um, that product it's really thick to do your top liner and that's what it's meant for but what I do is I put like a really thick line right here in my outer corner and then with the other side of the pencil it brings like a little brush and I kind of just smoke it out and bring it into um, the eye to make the illusion of, a, um, of the cat eye look and it works good it's just also the product is very fragile but it works really good it's really creamy so it works super good in the um, tight line in your waterline 
I really like it there. I wore that um, the other week in my tie line. I really enjoy it there. It's really black and it really lasts a long time. But I can't find it. But um, I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. It is drugstore prices. I think it's like seven dollars. I'm not sure. I'll I'll link I'll link it down below, and um, you can follow me on my Instagram. Cause if I find it, I'll do like a story about it. But I will definitely include it in my next video. I just know the struggle with liquid eyeliners or. Um, pencil eyeliners in general from the drugstore they're not as dark and they don't last long and they're not as pigmented so I know the struggle so that is literally how long it takes me to do my eyebrows with this pencil it's really nice see how it covers everything up I broke out a little bit so I apologize because I waxed my eyebrows and I'm like my skin is super sensitive but see how nice and sculpted they look I really like this product okay so next I'm gonna go in with um, my wet n wild contouring palette and dulce de leche and just carve out those cheekbones Then for blush, I'm gonna go in with the Fit Me blush in light rose. The like top broke off, but it's a really nice little peachy pink with a little bit of shimmer, but nothing that's like glittery. It's just like a nice little sheen to the skin. Invincible. And then a little bit on my nose. I'm also going to go in with um, the L'Oreal Geller Gilted Honey as my highlight. You guys already know how I feel about this highlighter. I love it. Then a little bit on my nose right here. Okay. And then no mascara and the with the power of editing. Okay. So, once you have your mascara on, you can go ahead. So, now that I have my mascara on, I'm going to go ahead and use my Wet n Wild um, lipstick and mauve out of here. I love this color. It's really pink and it's really pretty for summer. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my Real Techniques little brush that I had before. Oh, sorry. And I'm going to go in with my bronzer and then I'm just going to little contour there so my face looks a little more plump. I'm sorry that I've been looking down. It's just that that's where my mirror is and I need to see <laughs> what I'm doing. So this is the final result. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed filming it for you guys. Um, this is what I've been doing to like go out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and until next time, I'll see you guys soon.